Why hello everybody, so welcome to another review is read. Today's topic will be Kill Team, a last chance last chance story by Gav Trop. So uh, again same format, the first we'll talk about the book, then we'll go by the cons, the pros, and then a conclusion. So um the book is basically about a specialized team um dealing with a basically an assassination of a Tau commander, a Tau being one of the alien races in Warhammer 40,000. Link the kind of story of this book as more of like an action movie. Um, think Hogan Heroes but very serious, you know, they specialized team, they go in, they do something really, really, um, you know, imp the, almost impossible. And they, whether they do it or not, the whole thing is that they are the only ones that probably have a chance in the situation. Well, other than the Space Marines, but that's a different story. Um, just to let you know, this is one of 8,000. And these are Imperial Guard. And basically, the human, Imperial Guard are basically normal humans. Alright. And actually, these um, characters are based on... Characters like from the um, which Games Workshop made up, like from the Great Escape and stuff like that, where you could do narrative stories with one more forty thousand. They called the Last Chances from the Thirteenth Penal Legion, and so basically this is one of the novels in their stories. And to what I know, this is the first story that novel at least that involved the Tau. The Tau made and the first appearance in um, a novel. Again, don't quote me on this, but to what I could find out. This is probably the first story with them in it in the novel. All right, and so yep, basically that's a summary of the book. So let's go into the cons. Um, the cons really is like like the okay with these sort action kind of movies, they always can do the impossible. But the whole point of a miracle, so to speak, is is unexpected. So and then that's where the um, miracle part of it comes in. Unfortunately, like with most of these kind of stories, the team does so many miracles in a way, it starts to get a bit thin. You know, the the facade of realism is not there anymore. It becomes so commonplace that you can uh, again I won't give away spoilers, but it becomes so common that you just kind of read it and go, oh look, you know, like three of the most advanced machines and two whole squads are shooting at them but nothing hits them you know it's amazing and especially when you consider that the egg, the race they're trying to kill the Tau are one of the most advanced races ever and they will have target locks and all that and they never seem to get hit it's amazing there's never really a reason it's just that the Tau miss so that's one major thing for me and the other major thing is actually the lead character um, Cage you know and at the start of the book, they make him. I like how they introduced him and everything. Um, but he's supposed to be some psychopath, and they they mentioned this at the start of the book. So, and he's supposed to be he's a psychopath. He's a abject killer. He has no morals. Blah blah blah. And then out of the blue, as the book goes on, he he has a totally different character. And it's not even like it's written like it's schizophrenic. It's just that he's that way. Suddenly he's a nice guy. Suddenly he's this. He's that. You know. What happened to his psycho part, which is a bit weird. The character just flops over the place, not very consistent in his personality. Again, so those are the two major issues I have with the book. Um, the the pros of the book, well, I gotta say, as a story in itself, introduction to the Tau race, you know, was fantastic. You know, I, I collected Tau before, you know, I stopped playing. And this really gave me a very good introduction about their race. Example, things like... Again, this is not major spoiler, like, they're mostly vegeta they're vegetarians, you know? Or, or, like, how they view their um, philosophy of life and everything. For as a Tao, it's strangely to say as a Tao book, this is pretty good. Of course, most of it is concentrated on the kill, on the, the kill team, on the last chances, but overall, I found the Tao involvement and the Tao descriptions in the book fantastic. Um, another good of the book is, as an action flick, it's good too. I mean, there are times where you. They, they did amazingly throw in some good, um, how do you say, surprises, which I didn't expect. So that was pretty nice too. That it actually was kept quite fresh, the story. 
And the story in the end, if you take away the more super extraordinary moments of it, it kind of panned out whole... Again, minus the... Uh, I won't spoil anything. Minus certain parts, they actually the story did make some sense. Um, overall, maybe just not in a very realistic fashion. So, in conclusion, it's a good book. Um, I do... I do not regret reading it. It's actually quite enjoyable, and especially if you want to make characters of your own. Because the last chances were made as everyone's an individual, and they each had given names like the um, sh the snipers called Sharpshooter, Demolition Man for the Bombs Expert, and stuff like that. If you want to make characters and all, with a certain kind of personality, maybe skewed towards one or the other of a exaggerated type, this is actually a very good book to read. Um, again, just a very, it's a good book, um, uh, you can take away the more extraordinary, take away some realism to a certain extent, it's basically think of it like watching a action flick, you know, just and like if you enjoyed Fast and Furious 1, you know, it's not realistic or whatever, but as a story and all, it was enjoyable, definitely I don't regret reading it, thank you very much, till next word.